All right, guys, I'm back once again. The first time in a long time, and um, I'm doing. I'm going to go see um, Rampage. I'm on my way to go see Rampage right now, and I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, I originally wasn't planning on going to see this movie, but the trailers look good. Um, it's a cut. It's a monster movie. It's a kaiju movie. So I kind of have to see it. Me being a very big kaiju fan. I probably know that a lot. I'm a very, very big kaiju fan. Always have been. And, um, I'm going to do a bit of a review after I go see the movie with my thoughts and everything. Um, I'll determine if it, like, has spoilers. And I might just do two separate videos with, with and without spoilers. Um, it's probably what I'm going to end up doing. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know that that's what's going on. I'm back. The channel's not dead. Instagram will see this first. But um, yeah, the channel's not dead. I'm back. This will be the first video in like, I think a month or months, one of the two. I know it's been a long ass time, guys. I've missed you. But um, yeah, that's what's going on. Excited. It's going to definitely going to be interesting. I'm going to see it in 3D. So, it's going to be the first 3D movie I've seen in, I don't know, maybe a year, two years, year and a half, something like that. It's been a long ass time. I'm excited. That's all for now, guys, and I will, um, I'll catch you guys back once I am out of the movie theater, once I've seen the movie, so yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Hey, guys, there we go, that we can see me better. Hey, guys, I am back, and I just got out of the movie theater for Rampage. And, like I said when I started this video, I, I didn't, I wasn't originally going to go and see the movie. I didn't, I, I wasn't sure what it was, because what I, from what I heard about it, because I did do, I saw a couple trailers, I was like, that's cool, about not for me to see it, and then I, um, watched some videos on what it was based off, and I heard that it was based off a, um, video game. I was like, I'm not sure I want to go see that, if it's based off a video game, because... I don't know, like, it didn't sound that interesting to me, at least from what the video game was. Like, the video game didn't seem interesting to me at all. So I wasn't sure if I was going to see the movie. And then, like, I started watching some stuff about the characters and, like, the, um, monsters. That's your point. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I've been needing to go to the movies. I've been needing something to relieve some stress in a productive way, well, yeah, productive way, so I'm going to go see it, alright, so, um, I loved it, I fucking love this movie, excuse my friends, French, honestly, right now, I don't care, that was an amazing movie, I loved it, I would 1000% recommend it, and see it again, Honestly, swear to God, I would. That movie was fucking amazing. It was the best movie I've seen in a really, really long time. The beginning of the movie, like, first 15, 20 minutes, reminded me some, of some shit straight out of a fucking alien movie. I sh I'm not even kidding. I'm not joking about that. It reminded me of something I would see from the Alien franchise. And, um, yes, this video is going to have spoilers. I am going to spoil the shit out of this movie because I love it. And I 1,000% recommend that you guys go see. You know, I'm going to take the long way home because I want to talk about this. 
but um yeah thousand percent recommendation um the reason why it reminded me of an alien movie when I for like first 15 20 minutes is because it, it took place in space for 15 or 20 minutes and on like a space station I can't remember what the space station was called it wasn't a very big one but it was a decent sized one and you didn't know what was on board and what had killed the people all you knew is that there was one person alive and she's trying to get off the ship that was all you got to know no in the beginning and I believe it took place in 1933 and yep so yeah that's when it first started taking place and the first thing 20 minutes that's when it took place um so she wants to get off the ship she can't get off the ship because her superiors are like you can't get off the ship until you get what we need and she's like they haven't opened the door and they're like no you get the ship you get our stuff, or you don't come home. She's like, okay. So she wants to go get the stuff because she wants to. She wants to live. She wants to get off of that ship and go home. She wants to get back to Earth. And um, she collects three of the samples, three of the stuff that they need. I don't know what they called the gas, but it was a type of gas that mutated the animals and stuff. That was my turn. Um, but she collected three of them. And then all of a sudden there was an explosion and the hull was breached. Like the hull was breached. And all you saw from the darkness was an explosion and a big ass mutated creature. You didn't get to see what it was. And then it started coming towards her and you realize, oh shit, that's a big ass rat. That's a mutated rat. You better run. And of course she did because she's smart. So... I'm going to fast forward a bit. She gets off the ship. The first 15, 20 minutes is so suspenseful and freaked me the fuck out. Which is good in my opinion because I like horror and I like action movies. And that's what the first 15, 20 minutes did. Now, after that, it was really, really cool because you got to see George. And I learned all their names. From Sorry, guys. My camera cut out. Stopped recording. Hope it doesn't do it again. But um, back to what I was saying. Um, They find out that they're working together. They're moving towards the building and they go to Chicago because that's where the building is. That's where the ultrasonic thing is. That's where they're heading. So they, um, they're, they, Davis and the doctor, I don't remember her last name, but the Davis and the doctor sneak away from the MP not really sneak away, Davis beats the shit out of two MPs and knocks them both out. Um, they're still a military chopper. They get to Chicago and they find George and Ralph destroying the shit out of Chicago. The military's evacuating people. They're trying to get them from the north to the south to avoid the creatures, right? So the evil peoples are like, we got to go. We need to get out of here. And Davis and the doctor are trying to get the cure for George and the other creatures. But they get stopped by the bad people. I don't remember the names. I didn't like them, so bleh. But um, the evil people stop them and capture them from getting the cure. The mon oh, I forgot one important crucial thing. Chicago, while they're in Chicago, they're running around, they get to the building, okay? They're, they're getting to the building, they're still flying above the river and everything, but they're flying to the building, okay? This is where, this is the thing that got, this is one of the parts of the movie that got me really fucking hyped, okay? Lizzie showed up in an amazing and fantastic way. She showed up through the river and made a fucking entrance. She came out of the water, and I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer, any of the trailers for Rampage, but like when the giant crocodile mute thing's roaring, that was her entrance, and it was so badass. So, back to where I was going with this, though. I just wanted to bring that up, because that was one of my favorite parts of the movie. 
So they get to the building. The monsters get to the building. They get on top of the roof, and just as they're get, just as they, um, oh, Davis gets shot. Wait, he's not dead. Davis gets shot in the abdomen, and he shows up just in time to save the doctor. And so George shows up and starts beating the shit out of the tower. He wants to destroy the tower to get rid of the ultrasonics. That's what they're there for. That's what the monsters are there for. They're there to destroy the tower, sending out the ultrasonic frequencies. Because it's messing up, messing them up. So they're doing that. The doctor places one of the, took the cures in the evil lady's purse, and Davis calls George. Bad person gets eaten, killed. What you would expect. You shouldn't expect anything more. That's how it was supposed to go. The brother of her dies in what I believe was a very hilarious way. One of the military, one of the good military dudes who helped them escape, Davis and the doctor escape, said, I'll tell you what, because he was trying to run away. T- said, tell you what, you give me the laptop with everything on it, and I'll let you walk out. And he knows that this building's coming down, the debris coming down onto the street. The kid doesn't know this, the dude doesn't know this, but he, the um, good guy does. So he's like, okay, cool. Gives him the laptop, runs out of the building. Gets killed immediately by a big ass piece of concrete falling from the building. Dies on the spot, done. So, the rest of the movie after that, is basically the way Ralph died I don't agree with like it actually made me sad and I didn't like it because the way Ralph died is he got tricked into going to Lizzie's mouth because he charged at Davis while Davis was staying in front of Lizzie David Ralph caught the worst end of it Lizzie bit Ralph's head off and swallowed Ralph's head Killed Ralph right there, and it was actually kind of sad, and I didn't agree with that death. It was it, it messed me up. I I really liked Ralph. Ralph was my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, Ralph was my favorite. So now it's a monster movie, and the monster movie contains a big ass gorilla and a big ass alligator, mutated alligator. So. Lizzie almost kills George. Like, Lizzie was strong as shit. Like, she was strong. Destroyed, almost killed George. Almost killed Davis. And, um, Lizzie dies because she wasn't paying attention to George. She went after Davis. She chased Davis after getting shot by a grenade launcher a bunch of times so George could live. Lizzie chases Davis after getting shot. Davis gets cordoned into a fallen building. Lizzie's trying to grab him out of the fallen building. George does a fucking King Kong jumps in high as hell in the air with a big ass metal spike that he ripped out of his chest from when he got thrown into a building by Lizzie. And stabs Lizzie in the fucking eye and goes straight for the brain on Lizzie. Like, he just, like, mm, straight into Lizzie's eye. Kills her right there. Um, George was hilarious. I loved George. He had an amazing sense of humor. He reminded me of my friends. I swear to you. Davis and George's relationship reminded me of me and my friends. George pretends to die. And that was the funniest thing in the world to me. Davis is on the verge of tears. George wakes up, moves his fingers and everything. Davis gets mad at him, like anyone would, and George flips him off. 
<laughs> I just started laughing because I knew that was hilarious. On um, don't there any cops around and do anything illegal, but yeah, um, that was the funniest thing in the world to me. But George pretended to play dead. Everybody has a happy ending. George is the only one who lived. And I made sure to make stay around after the, for the end credit scene, make sure that there was nothing there. Make sure that um no one no, nothing was at the end credit scene because we always do that sometimes. But um yeah, there was nothing there at the end credit scene. And you just saw George helping people off a fallen build of a destroyed building. It was just an overall good movie. I had an amazing time. It was by far one of the best movies I've seen in a really, really long time. I would, like I said, I 1000% recommend you go and see this movie. Please do. It is an amazing movie. It was my favorite movie of the year so far, and I plan to do a few more movie reviews. Um, I plan to see A Quiet Place um, and, and Annihilation. There was another, I can't remember the name of it right now, but those are three of them. Three? Two movies. Yeah, two movies that I plan to see. Oh yeah, and Truth or Dare. I want to see those three really badly. But, um, keep... Keep your eye out for those. Those are coming out soon. But, um, yeah, Rampage was an amazing movie. I loved it. It was, I just adored that movie. Please go see it. Please. You will not be disappointed. I guarantee you will not be disappointed from about this movie. It was phenomenal. 1,000% want to see it again. Maybe I'll take my friends out this weekend and see if they want to go see it. I am going way over the speed limit. I didn't even realize that. Um, but yeah, I would 1,000% recommend seeing this. Please do it. You will not be disappointed, guys. Amazing movie. Um, five out of five stars in a heartbeat. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. It had action, it had suspense, it had giant mon mutated animals monsters. What else could you ask for? You had a bit of horror here and there. What else could you ask for? So please guys, go see it. Amazing, amazing movie. Um, I'm going to do my outro here in a second. As soon as I get to a stop sign. So I'm just going to keep talking until then. But, um, yeah, guys, go see it. Just do it right now. Go, go! <laughs> go see it! I forgot this is a 25, 35. That was 40. But yeah, guys, ser all seriousness, go see it. I loved it. I really, really, really did. But um, that's all I have for you guys tonight, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this is a long video. I know it's a long one. But I really hope you guys liked it. Um, please subscribe. Make sure to smash that like button. Share it. And um, until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Peace.